welcome back to my channel if you are new on this channel if you have seen my face for the first time you're very much welcome my yes. name is Arnold I'm so happy and delighted yes. to have you on my channel feel free to click on the subscribe button it's down here just click on it and also there's a notification bell icon just beside the subscribe button feel free to click on that too, so you get notifications straight to your phone whenever I upload a new video so guys today's video is about a while going now what is the english name for you are going i'm trying to process that do you know that please if you know the english name for you are going please put it down in the comment section below i'll be so happy to learn from you guys <laughs> i don't know what a going is but i can just say that a going is a special way of preparing your beans or should i say beans and stew or special beans and stew or maybe traditional way of preparing your beans I don't know but I call it Ewa Going and that's a popular name for it. So today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare my Ewa Going. The delicious version, not the just Ewa Going. You see anywhere, this is just a special delicious Ewa Going. So guys, so let's get to the kitchen. Let's cook this Ewa Going. And please share with your friends. You know there's love in sharing. Don't be the only one learning from this video. Please share with your friends. Click the like button if you like it. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hi. So this is the beans I will be using for this Ewa going. So this is the first time I'm trying this brand. That's Blueberry brand. Like this is the first time, the very first time I'm trying it. The first one I tried wasn't good. So I'm just checking here if this beans needs to be salted or picked. So I just realize it's clean. There are just few um, dirt there, and I can just remove them while cleaning it. Now I'm washing my beans and I'm just removing the little little dirt like they float on top. I hate picking beans guys. I cannot, I don't like picking beans. So I'd rather just try to remove the dirt through this way as long as there's no stone there. So now I'm just putting my beans into the boiling water and then I cover it to let it cook. So these are the things I'll be using for my Ewa going sauce. So I have my scotch bonnet pepper. This is the dried one that has been soaked in hot water. But you can use the fresh one if you have it. And I'm going to be using two paprika and one onions for this. So now what I'm doing here is that I'm cutting my pepper into smaller pieces just to help my blender. This scotch bonnet pepper is not too much, like it's not too much at all because it's dried. So the hotness has been reduced and by the time the sauce is cooked, it will also be reduced. So if you're using fresh pepper, you don't want to use as much as I do in this video. So now I'm transferring everything into the blender. Now I'm blending it, you can see that this pepper is not so smooth it is smooth but not very very smooth so i'll just say this is like maybe 70 or 80 percent smooth so that is how it should be now i'm putting it on the stove to let it boil you can see the smoothness like it's not so smooth it's still rough yeah that's what that's what we want to achieve so this process i'm showing you is not necessary this is just how they were going onions it's been <laughs> it's been caught in nigeria like the local ewa going you see on the street this is how they cut the onions like the onions that after floats on top of the sauce this is how they cut the onion so it is not necessary if you don't want any special onions flowing on top of your stew so i'm just showing you this process in case you want it just the way it is like from this ewa going local ewa going people yeah so this is how the onion turns out to be and then the next thing you'll be doing is that i'm going to be putting my oil on the stove i'll let this oil to be hot for a while then i transfer my onions into the oil like i said earlier it, it is not necessary if you don't want any onion flowing on your ewa going sauce so if you want onions flowing on your ewa going sauce that means you have to let this onions to be golden brown before you put your your pepper mixture into the onion but if you don't want any flowing onions on your ewa going sauce you can just put your pepper into it and i'm adding my salt to it and then i had my seasoning cube so now what i'm going to be doing now is that after mixing everything together i'm going to be stirring this 
source like you have to keep going in this circular form like your movement should be circular like everything circular 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 so this source is going to be like it's going to be on the stove for about one hour because we want to achieve our going source right so that's it so you have to keep moving in a circular form for a long time you can take a break for a while but not a long break yeah i'm not going to be cutting too much of this our going source if you don't want to see how it is done you can fast forward this video feel free to fast forward it and you'll be using a lot of oil for this because you have to keep adding oil as you're doing it the oil will be reducing so you have to keep adding oil to it now you can see that i took a short break and now i'm back to it so i'm not going to be cutting it out you can fast forward it but i just want to show how this sauce will like change from normal steel sauce to a going sauce so i do the circular 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 movement again and then I put another oil like as I just keep putting oil whenever I think it is needed yeah that's how it is so I'm taking another break now and I'm going to check on my beans now this beans has been on the stove for about one and a half hour and now I'm adding my onions and then a little bit sugar to it you don't need sugar if you're using sweet um, beans or only beans we call it a wallow in Nigeria so I don't know, I think the English is sweet or honey beans. So if you're using that beans, you don't need to add sugar to this. And I'm adding my water to it and then I let it be. So now I'm back to the sauce. You can see the sauce is drying up a little. I left it for two, for a little bit longer. So it's kind of getting burnt, but it's not so bad. So now I'm just going to continue my circle up movement. Can see that they were going sauce is changing it's gonna be so messy you can see my stove is already stained yes so just be ready for cleaning up and all that so you can see that my were going sauce is now changing changing like getting ready you can see that the onions is flowing on the sauce if so if i was to use more oil it would be really really flowing but i don't want to use too much oil for this so this they were going sauce was on the stove for about one hour so at this stage the uh, going sauce is kind of ready you can just put it aside don't let it get black I know our going sauce is normally black but don't let it get black on the stove because when you set it aside it's still going to keep frying so now you can see that it is out of the stove and it is still frying so don't let it be black before you move it from the stove now I'm back to my beans so I'm just going to check if this beans is soft enough so it's not soft enough so I'm just going to let it be I'll cover it back and leave it so approximately this beans will be on the stove for about three hours three good hours to be very very soft now I'm back to it and you can see that now it is very very soft like soft 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 yes that is when you want to add your salt now you can see that the water in it is not so much it's just like same level or maybe a little bit under the beans so now i'm using this the stick i don't know the english name of this stick but this is what we used to prepare our soil in nigeria like amala and all that so i'm going to be using this to break the beans and to mix everything so this is what we use in nigeria for we're going but you can use your spoon if you don't have it so I'm just going to keep turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it, mixing it, mixing it. Yes, until everything. It's like I'm breaking the beans, yes. So I'll just keep breaking, breaking, breaking. And now I'm just testing to see if the salt isn't enough. If it's not enough, you just add a little bit more salt. And then you stir everything again. You can see what is the going salt has turned to after I left it out of the stove. So it is now black. So you don't want to let your work going sauce be black white is on the stove so after putting my salt i let these beans be on the stove for about two minutes or three minutes and then it is ready so now i'm just going to set it aside to let it cool before serving it 
why i'm letting this beans cool down i'm just going to be frying my dodo yes my dodo <laughs> i call it dodo so i'm going to be showing you how a going is properly served yes so this is how you serve your going it is you can see that it is not so cool you create like a small hole in your beans so now this is how you put your sauce in the going. you fill that hole with the sauce and then you put some sauce around the the surface of the beans now i'm serving it with my dodo and my going is ready this is the remaining sauce from the beans you can see how it looks inside the bowl i'm just showing you this because the pot won't let you see how it looks for real so this is how it looks in the bowl don't forget to subscribe share with your friends and click the like button if you like the video thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>